Hi, my name is Maggie Thompson and this video forms part of my submission to um, Modern Art Oxford and Brooks University for their exhibition Flow. The piece that I'm submitting is called A Brand New Ending which really is about new beginnings and painful endings and represents the time during lockdown that we're going through and have been through and um, you know that there is hope in and amongst all the things that have been happening and that as human race we are responsible for um, new beginnings and making a difference and changing perhaps some of the things that we do to make the world a better place. My passion to create art is um, driven by the wonders of the world that surround me and I'm often inspired by things such as stories, poetry, music, um, maybe pieces of clothing, strong perfume and even flowers that dance because a breeze has actually blown across them. All sorts of things can just spark and fire the imagination and um, it makes me want to create. There are innumerable ways of interpreting our surroundings and personally I find to work outside um, and paint, take photographs, make sketches, um, all, all sort of exhilarating things to do as they capture light as it shifts around and surrounding textures and the colours that constantly change. Um, particularly I enjoy landscape painting um, and it is one of the most versatile subject matters um, although it's often thought of I think as sublime and beautiful and awe-inspiring and conjures up images of mountains and seascapes Although contrary, I, I think um, it can also provide an insightful, challenging commentary on everyday life in both industrial and urban environments too. Um, days before lockdown, I'd been into the botanical gardens in Oxford and just doing drawings, taking photographs and seeking stimulus to kickstart my creative flow and um, decide upon what I could make or create next um, and as I was going around the gardens I felt at the time there was a change and people were talking about lockdown and, and the fact that there was this virus around um, but I was in an environment where I felt safe and secure and it was very beautiful albeit cold um, and at that time I wasn't quite sure where I was going with those thoughts. However, when lockdown came and we were in the midst of COVID-19, I took inspiration from my own garden and the plants in it and decided to do sketches and drawings and take photographs and do some videos. and. Um, I suppose the consolation was that spring was early and the weather was beautiful so I concentrated also on colours and patterns and textures. The garden was full of blossom um, with new buds and flowers blooming everywhere however it was the tulips that um, brought a sense of joy an encapsulated springtime. They seem to be radiant and happy and quite beautiful. So I thought to myself, well, okay, I'm going to use you in whatever I create next. So I was ready to um, start my piece of work and I decided to use one of the drawings I had made of the tulips and um, put it onto some boards which I had which at one stage I got from a local wood merchant and it's a bit like papyrus so I wrapped it in string, I wet it and I distorted it um, 
the reason being is that I wanted to create a sense of movement and flow within it so that it showed um, air passing through and we could have some space between what I was going to do because I decided to um, cut the board up into 12 sections in the hope that I could create something that literally gently moved in a breeze because I really originally wanted to hang it from a tree. By that stage we were receiving daily news reports on um, the numbers of people who had contracted COVID-19 and those who were dying from the disease. As thousands of people had died and I felt affected by this and I began to think about how we could look to the future and look towards research and science to help us find ways to prevent diseases and sustain the human race which then made me think of Kew Gardens who do lots of research into um, sustainable foods for human beings and how we can manage to grow them here on earth and also on other planets and lugemes are the main source that they have been looking at um, and they're an edible seed and have been nourishing human beings for thousands of years they're not just food of the past um, and actually a food of the future um, they have unique qualities as um, a source of fiber and protein and um, they're a means of way that we can actually help um, the health and nutrition of a growing global population and support and support um, social and agricultural practices in what is an ever warming world. During this time, I continued to experiment um, using oils and paints and waxes and grains of uh, sand and pastels and all sorts of different media. Um, uh, but ultimately I chose to um, paint a background on the boards using a mixture of oils and wax and also um, some sand and I also used um, seeds as well. Um, I dripped on uh, inks and I also stretched and pulled the background into shape, uh, which is a really enjoy to be honest. And then I applied the um, blocked colours of the, of the tulips and um, beyond that I then um, <coughs> made shapes and marks which represented um, not just seeds but also um, the Covid virus and I'm going to continue to do that. On the other side of the canvas what I'm going to do ultimately regardless of whether <laughs> my piece is accepted or not I'm in the flow <laughs> but basically I am going to carry on with it and on the other side I am going to um, commemorate if you will the people that have died and lost their lives by um, drawing or painting on um, petri dishes which contain seeds and for each seed that represents a life that has been lost through Covid and I think that's for me, a way of commemorating those people. With regards to recommendations for handling and installing this particular piece of work, there are four sections, each containing um, three boards that are hung on wires and they would need to be attached to the ceiling by um, screws and um, the idea being that people could walk around. I, I would call this a painting stroke um, sculpture, personally, 
so they can walk around the particular sculpture and at the same time I would like to install um, some sound with this particular piece that is birds song and it's um, sound that's been recorded throughout the, the lockdown um, and I'm not quite sure technically how that would be done but it would be a representation of um, calm within a storm really and um, ultimately that's my piece so um, I hope you like it <laughs> thank you